Hey guys, my name is Beckett. So we're back in here talking about, we're doing our weekly series where we talk about Bungie, Destiny, what's going on with Destiny 2 right now. So, well let's get into it. So, last week I covered the pay to win bullshit, uh, you know, all the crap that's going on with the uh, <laughs> Destiny 2, uh, with the Ingrams and stuff like that, uh, which is uh, uh, kind of ridiculous, so I'm not going to go too into that, but... Right after I put out that video, more drama came out. Uh, I didn't have time to make a video, so right now I'm not. I'm waiting for Destiny 2 to come out on PC, so I'm trying to avoid as much spoilers as possible. I actually know any spoilers. I've seen some of the cool new exotics. I was stoked that uh, Mita Multi Tool is coming back. That was a fun gun to use in PvP. Hopefully, it holds up to the hype that was last year. But so let's get into the drama. So we found out. Uh, that shaders are consumable you can only use them once i i don't know if i read this right but i think you can only use them on one piece of armor which is it's kind of ridiculous and then you can pay for uh, more i guess at the eververse store uh correct me if i'm wrong in the comments if i'm just like totally wrong just say you're wrong you're you're a retard shut up you don't know what you're talking about but if i'm right this is a little disturbing uh like many games do this, uh, they do weapon skins and stuff, charge two dollars, but you can't do this to Destiny when we had free shaders on everything for three years and then you come in and do this. And it's just part of the Destiny community is just having these awesome shaders, these awesome emotes. I don't I don't really mind paying for the emotes. It's one time, that's all you have to pay for. You don't have to if you don't like it. You can just dance and stuff like that. I'm still waiting for my emo uh, tea bag, but I don't think they're ever going to put that in because that's the only one anyone would use in my opinion. But so that back in year one, a year two, year three, whatever, uh, you could uh, you could equip any shader anytime you wanted. And it was a cool thing. One one reason was like when when uh, they first took down Crota, like everyone in the tower was running around with that glow who or whatever. And I was like, what is that shader? It's awesome. And now it's it's ugly to me. But when you first saw it, you're like, that is awesome. Thing with Chatter White, stuff like that. Uh, you're like, that is awesome. Uh, all the, when the Taken King stuff, I wasn't really happy with the Taken King shaders. But then we had, uh, was it the Wrath or the Wrath of the Machine? Yeah. Those, that red and black, that was awesome. So it was something, it was kind of like show up. Oh, I completed this raid on this mode. Uh. I'm awesome or when you had the Trials of Osiris ones you're like I'm a badass at PvP I can play this and you could switch it up and there's a, oh, it was a million different shaders you could buy uh, with glimmer and stuff like that and you could coordinate with your team be like oh we're all gonna go in this color or we're all gonna do this we're gonna do that or it's just like whatever I was feeling that day what my mood was stuff like that I'm like oh I like this I'm gonna run this on my hunter or I'm gonna run this on my lock or I'm going to run this on my Titan. And whatever kind of fit with the type of armor you were using, the exotic, it all played in. So it all played into what we were trying to do at the time. And now that they're coming out and saying, oh, you know, it's consumable. You can only use it once, which is 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 ridiculous. Like that, that they can't let that pass. And so Luke Smith, he came out on Twitter and that was a bad move. He tried to he tried to give us some retarded excuse that's saying oh it's so you play people never stop playing destiny don't say it's because we for us to play more and more customization no it's just either activision or someone or the head of bungie is saying oh do this so we can make more money to pay for dlc even though they're going to charge us for dlc and everything i don't i hate how they say oh i have so we can give you free stuff i i didn't want sparrow racing was fun but it, it wasn't worth all the money that we spent, you know, on Eververse in the first few weeks. So that I, I don't understand. Uh, so they're saying, oh, that's how the, the game is built and stuff. And then a developer is now backtracking and say, oh, we're trying to fix it and make it more. So I think they just need to revert it back or at least give us like 10 or 15, even five consumable on use because you you would get a lot of chatter whites and a lot of this but what about the rare shaders like the rare special shaders uh i think they had exotic shader for charles osiris and stuff like that maybe it was just the emblem I, I don't really recall but uh the rare shaders i don't think you should ever be consumable but that, like there's some they're just regular ones that you get all the time 
but like the, the ones for the hard mode raids and stuff like that you know that should never leave you should never lose that i think because that's you're not always going to have a chance to do that unless you just have no life you don't work you don't have a family you don't have nothing else to take care of but for me in that standpoint i got a family to take care of stuff like that and i don't have a lot of time oh well i still have a lot of time but i don't have i can't be putting in eight hours a day in Bun or i mean in destiny 2 so hopefully they find a little fix they say they're working on it so hopefully within at least within a month we'll see some uh actual changes so let's get into uh well they did their little weekly you know news and stuff and they did something cool which i hope they do more often uh they did a month activity like what's going to go on what we're expecting i don't remember this so well we're getting the nightfalls and stuff uh Zer's coming back uh i think he's he already came back right what's i don't oh, know next week uh so that'll be cool uh when it comes to Zer as a year one player buy every exotic he has if you don't have it we don't know how good it's gonna be or anything we don't like everyone in year one there was probably only one person in the whole game who bought the Galahorn that was like week one or week two I can't remember everyone looked at it and thought oh no it's garbage no one is gonna use a rocket launcher I want a primary weapon I want this I want that you know and then every, everyone s skipped by the Galahorn, like, oh, and then everyone found out that it was just destroying raids, it was destroying everyone in PvP. It was just the most amazing weapon in the game. So much like you couldn't get into raids uh, in a whole year one and at all, you know, and then they finally brought it back, I think, in, uh, what was it, year two or something? Year three, I can't remember. And it wasn't as good as it was. But yeah, even year two, you could use Galahorn in the beginning and it was still doing work. You know, it was just that powerful. So that I just hope either they don't over buff a weapon like that or they don't. Well, just let me put it this way. I'm getting caught up. Just just buy everything they got. Xur's got. Uh, they're bringing back strange coins too. So I think maybe it was a fan request. We all love our strange coins, so you can purchase uh, I think we're going to use that to purchase exotics. I thought that, that was for the, whatever, the legendary shards of horn, stuff like that. So that's cool. Uh, and then we, I guess we haven't been able to start factions yet. So that's going to start uh, uh, at the end of the month. And then, end of the month, and there's still a month till PC launch, which is, it sucks. Uh, I've heard people say, oh, it's because it's pirated. No, it's not going to be pirated. It's on Battle.net. You give me a... Don't give me that. Uh, I think the game's just too good on PC, to be honest, guys. But all in all, that's really the only news we have. The Destiny drama. Uh, what we have to look forward to. Uh, I'm just getting excited for that PC launch. Can't wait for it to come out. There'll be a lot more content about Destiny. But until then, I'm probably just going to do a weekly video about what's going on in the community. What, what else is going on. The drama, stuff like that. Until next time. And I'll see you guys out there.